Hi, I'm Ben O'Reilly and I'm from Wood Finishes Direct. In this video I'm going to be discussing floor finishes, specifically water-based polyurethane varnishes and hard wax oils. I'm going to be discussing the best way to apply them, the pros and the cons, and hopefully help you decide which finish is right for your floor. Firstly, let's talk about varnishes. Specifically, the MANS Extra Tough Floor Varnish and the Bon Omega. Typically, they look like this, fairly thick white liquid. Application's nice and easy. Um, I've made up a fake floor that I'm going to be applying to you today. I've stained it with the MANS Light Fast Stain in Light Oak. It's a really nice stain to work with and it goes on nice and easy and it comes in a brilliant range of colours. When you are applying a varnish to wood, it is really important to make sure the wood is well sanded to a P120 minimum. And now, for some application tips. The varnish I'm going to be using today is the MANS Extra Tough Floor Varnish in matte. And also, the applicator is the Padco Snappy Applicator. It's a six inch disposable application tool that's ideal for the application of varnishes and oils. Firstly, you do need to make sure that you stir your varnish and then allow any air bubbles to settle. Also make sure that you put on protective equipment. I'm wearing gloves and an apron to protect my clothes. And then after you've done that, you just need to pour your varnish into your paint tray. And using your applicator, apply it in long, even strokes. Work in manageable areas and always to the full length of the board and really avoid letting it pool as well. So I've let this dry for a few hours. Um, the next step is denibbing or giving the area a light sand. What I'm going to be doing that with today is a man's finishing pad. It's kind of like a scotch pad. Uh, you can also do this with very fine sandpaper. Just don't put too much pressure on. You'll undo a lot of your hard work. This step really aids adhesion of further coats and also helps it level out. You just do it by lightly rubbing it down like so. Wipe off any dust after this step. And regarding the amount of coats, it's best to follow the guidelines on the back of the tin or the bottle. However, if you do have any concerns over durability, or if you want to improve the sheen, adding an extra coat or two is a good idea. Varnishes offer increased durability and require less maintenance than oils. However, it is more likely that you will need to resand the entire floor when it does eventually get damaged and worn. The lifespan of a varnish is typically between five to 10 years, but this does depend on what varnish you use, the quality of the varnish, how busy your household is, and how regularly you maintain and clean your floor. And now, hard wax oils. Specifically, the Osmo Pollux oil and the Fiddy's hard wax oil. Hard wax oils have a slight wax content. This improves durability and also prevents them from soaking in too far meaning where, as a traditional oil, you'd have to do three to five coats. With the hard wax oils, you only have to do two to three, depending on what wood you're treating. Again, for this, I've mocked up a fake floor, and just like varnishes, the floor that you are treating does have to be sanded to a P120 minimum. The oil I'm going to be using today is the Osmo Pollux Oil in Matte, and the applicator I'm going to be using is, again, the Padco Snappy applicator, and with it, I'm going to be using one of these. It's a man's microfiber cloth. With the oil, it's very important to give it a good stir. Make sure you get right into the corners, just in case there is any matting agent that has settled at the bottom. And then once you've done that, all you need to do is pour it into your paint tray. And then using your applicator, sparingly apply the oil, working again in long, even strokes. Try to work to the full length of the board as well.
and then once you've applied you get your cloth and if you have any excess on the surface as I do it's just best to work that into the wood and wipe it off so I've let it dry now it's time to denib I'm going to be using a man's finishing pad denibbing is really important it helps the second coat soak into the wood and regarding coats it is best to follow the guidelines that are on the back of the tin. Oils do require more maintenance, normally every year or so. However, it is only to the areas that have started to wear. Oils are great because they don't crack, they don't peel, and they don't flake. When they do start looking tired, they do maintain their look a lot better as well. And also, they're so easy to patch repair. For example, say you had a small area of damage or a small stain, all you have to do is clean them with a suitable cleaner and apply a nice thin coat and you're as good as new. Any areas that are a little bit more damaged, for example, say a red wine stain or you've got a big scratch, all you have to do is sand it back with a fine sandpaper and apply another thin coat and again, it's back as good as new. What finish is right for you really does depend on what look you want to achieve, how durable you require the finish to be and also how much time you want to dedicate to maintenance. I've finished both these boards and both of them look absolutely fantastic. The varnish feels strong and it looks great. The oil, it feels and looks a lot more natural. You can actually feel the grain as you touch it. Ultimately, as with any wood finish, it's always best to do test areas. Maybe decide what sheen level you like, get a sample of the oil, get a sample of the varnish, try them out in different areas on your floor, See which one you like to apply, and also see which one works best for your home. A full list of all the products that were featured and used is available in the description on YouTube. And also, if you like this video and want to see some more unique content, simply subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and comment on any of the videos that you like, and of course, always do a test area.